Green woodwork is when you're working with the wood when it's fresh as opposed to seasoned wood. So you're working with the natural properties of the wood and you're very in touch with where it's come from as well. And then using a variety of hand tools to shape it down could be making it into a spoon or a bowl or even chair making. So you're making use of the natural properties of the wood and you're working it in a low impact way as well without the use of machines. I got into spoon carving two years ago. At that time, I, I'd been suffering with my mental health and I, I recognized that I, I, needed, um, I needed a purpose and I needed something to engage with. I'd done woodwork before, but didn't know anything about green woodwork and what it involved. And initially I was, I was looking at chair making courses, but then I, I saw there was a, a spoon carving course and I then realized that spoon carving in itself was an amazing activity. And I never realized at the time how simple yet complex it could be. The more spoons you make, the more you realize what a complex thing it is. The more you carve, the more you experiment with uh, different types of woods, the more you learn about the, the different properties and uh, why one particular wood is perhaps um, better than another or, or even just gives you a, a different look. That's the great thing about green woodwork. It's all about making use of what the wood wants to do rather than kind of fighting against it. I started out just, just going to local woodlands and carving out in nature. With the axe work, you need a, an outdoor space really to, to do that uh, with bits of wood flying around. Last year, I decided to put together a little workshop. The great benefit of that is just being able to have a dry place to, to go and work in somewhere where I can have things in progress and be able to leave them and close the doors. But spoon carving is a very mobile activity, so the great thing about it is that you, you don't need a workshop, you don't need a, a designated space to do it. You can just put a few tools in, in a rucksack and go out to a woodland and, and do it. Well, it takes probably about half an hour to 45 minutes to do the initial axe work and then anywhere between an hour and two uh, to do the knife work. and. It varies uh, from spoon to spoon. Um, if you're making a, a smaller spoon, then obviously it takes takes less time. Um, but I found that the more more accomplished I've become, the quicker I've been able to make them. I've found more efficient ways of working. I think we live in a world where there's a lot of a lot of the time we're thinking about the future or we're thinking about the past. And with spoon carving, all that matters is is the present and making that spoon in front of you. I'm at a point now where I feel quite established as a spoon carver. I feel that I have a real passion for, for green woodwork. Even now, after carving hundreds of spoons, I still get a great feeling when I see it developing and I get towards the later stages of, of the process and I think back to what I started out with, that log that I'd picked up from the woodland floor and it still gives me a great feeling to to look at the, the end product and, and thinking about the process which has taken it from a log to this functional and pleasing object. Spoon carving will always be there for me and it will it will be something that I come back to. I, I will learn how to make a timber frame building but spoon carving will be something I'm drawn back to for its simplicity.